I think as a professional, I think he's been treated disgracefully by football fans. You know, he, everywhere he's gone, even his own fans, England fans, have been ridiculed. It's not fair. You know, the guy is, shows you there he's an important player. There are, of course, he's made mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. I look at some of the other players that might make a mistake they're playing for Man United. They don't get a quarter of the stick that he makes. But if Harry Maguire does it, it becomes a meme. Everyone starts talking about it. And it's completely unfair. And you can see when he does play that he does make a difference. Do I think long term that he's going to be the answer for Man United? No, I actually don't. I, I genuinely mean that. And this is, he's been in great form of late and playing in these games. But I think he might have to make his way against somewhere else. But I still, even for whatever reason, he doesn't deserve the criticism he gets. I think it's been massively below the belt and disgraceful at times. And in fairness, as much as there's been a lot of criticism, there has also been a lot of support, particularly from, from Manchester United fans. And then in the, the last round of games, quite a lot of support from England fans as well. You're part of the setup. Yeah, and, and deservedly so. Uh, I must say it's, it's a pleasure to work with him. I, I, the boy is always ready to work. He's always ready to give his all. Uh, never lets us down. You know, uh, you, I knew today what kind of performance you were going to get of him, you know, uh, honest performance. Um, he does ex wants to do extra work. He's, he's one, actually, he's one of the bravest players I know because he always takes the ball and he always takes his responsibility. You know, as Jamie said, yeah, players make mistakes, but he's not shying away from them, you know, and how people treat sometimes football and especially him, it's not right. It's not right. And, and I'm happy that he... Uh, had a really good performance today and, and won the man of the match and he deserved it. Eric Ten Hag praises Harry Maguire after Manchester United's win versus Sheffield. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag praised Harry Maguire after the club's Premier League victory over Sheffield United on Saturday night. The England centre-back has had a tough start to the campaign. He was initially a regular on the bench until the injury concerns for Rafael Varane and Lisandro Martinez. Against his former club, the 30-year-old delivered his best performance in a while. Maguire had 106 touches with 79 accurate passes. He managed 12 successful long balls. Defensively, he won six ground and aerial duels. He made two clearances and blocked three shots. It was a top-notch showing from the former captain, and Ten Hag praised him after the game. United will be in Champions League action in midweek. They host Copenhagen on Tuesday. The game is a must-win for them, having failed to pick up a point from the opening two group matches. Varane should return to the starting lineup after his injury comeback. He could be accompanied by Maguire on the back of his impressive outing against the Blades away from home. Jadon Sancho's career at Manchester United is finished. Club planning, January exit. Jadon Sancho's career at Manchester United is finished even if he apologises to manager Eric Ten Hag, according to Mira. The England international came off the bench during the first three games of the campaign, but he was dropped for the defeat at Arsenal. Ten Hag revealed that he was excluded due to his poor attitude in training. This did not go well with Sancho, who criticised him of lying. Sancho has since been suspended by the club for disciplinary reasons. In recent weeks, it has been reported that an apology could bring him back to the first team fold, but that is no longer an option for him. Mirror report that there is no route back for the attacker, and the club are preparing to offload him when the transfer window reopens. United are hoping to receive an offer from Saudi Arabia. Back in the summer, al wanted to sign Sancho, but a deal did not materialize. The Red Devils were only prepared to sanction a loan move with an obligation to buy for £45 million. This put off the Saudi Pro League giants. There was huge spending from the Middle East during the recent summer transfer window. A number of high-profile stars made the switch to Saudi. Sancho was also the subject of interest before the deadline. There could be fresh proposals in January, but reports claim that he prefers to stay in Europe. Sancho was purchased for 85 million euros from Dortmund, but he is now valued at Euro 32 million by Transfermarkt. United may have to accept a significant loss to offload him next year. Eric Ten Hag singles out every good fighter for praise after Manchester United's win versus Sheffield United. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag praised Scott McTominay after his goal-scoring display in Sheffield United's victory Ten Hag told MOTD that McTominay's relentless mindset helps him get to the right places at the right time. 
The 26-year-old gave a heroic cameo before the October international break in the game against Brentford. The United boss substituted McTominay into the match in the 87th minute for Sofyan Amrabat. The Scotsman scored two extra time goals to complete the comeback and save United from their third consecutive home loss. Featuregis reported that United were looking to offload McTominay during the January transfer window. The Red Devils are trying to offload players who are not a major part of their manager's plan. Financial fair play rules restricted the Manchester Giants from signing players that Ten Hag needed. The Dutchman resorted to loan deals during the summer transfer deadline day. McTominay's resurgence should put his exit on hold as he continues to prove his worth during United's hour of need. The 26-year-old has the mindset that resonates with many former United legends who rose through the club's academy. Eric Ten Hag confident that attacker will find form amid Premier League goal drought. Eric Ten Hag is unfazed by Rasmus Hodgelund's lack of Premier League goals and is confident that the forward will find the back of the net soon enough. The 20-year-old is yet to bag his maiden goal in the top flight after making his Manchester United debut on September 3rd. He has, however, scored three times in the Champions League and is currently the joint second-highest goalscorer in Euro 2024, qualifying with Denmark on seven, tied with England's Harry Kane. However, Ten Hag harbours no concerns over Hoydland, and it's key that supporters are patient with him too. Manchester United receive major boost as Manuel Akanji is suspended from Manchester Derby clash. Manchester United have received a major boost ahead of their upcoming local derby clash with Manchester City. Manchester City star Manuel Akanji is set to miss the heavyweight clash next weekend after earning two yellow cards against Brighton and Amp. Hove Albion on Saturday. Liverpool have sent scouts to watch 22-year-old Manchester United target in action. Liverpool are planning to make a move for Manchester United target Goncalo Inazio. Manchester United might need to move fast on sporting defender Goncalo Inazio as arch-rivals Liverpool plan a swoop. The Red Devils have made a shortlist of defenders to buy during the 2024 transfer window. The Portuguese international is a left-footed central defender with strong technical abilities and decision-making. Inazio is a typical modern-day centre-back who can distribute good passes and make forward drive with the ball. The Portuguese international has good game intelligence and tactical awareness to anticipate his opponent's passes and moves for interception. The 22-year-old stays calm in pressure situations and uses his composure to implement well-timed tackles instead of lunging recklessly. Fabrizio Romano reported that the Red Devils have a shortlist that contains multiple defenders from top European leagues. Antonio Silva, Jean-Claire Todibo and Edmund Tapsoba are also part of the shortlist. Inatio is an incredible talent who already possesses the experience and maturity to start for any top club. The Portuguese international has already solidified his position in the national team because of it.